Hello. Hey, hey. Welcome to Saturday. Thank you. Well, so, not you, the audience. Oh, I thought he was welcoming me. I thought it was a bit too nice. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a catch. It's warm, isn't it? It's 18 degree, 19 degrees at the oh, moment. It's warm for so, us. But it's very sunny. And it's only half, well, quarter to ten. Almost. So what time are we boarding? Ten o'clock. What time is it now? Quarter to ten. We should probably go. We should, really. But first, let's just show everyone the ship outside. Oh, yeah. So we are about to do the short walk over that very busy road. To which terminal? City terminal, I think, yeah. If it's incorrect, we'll put it in the bottom. Yeah. Busy road. So we're on board. We are. It's rainy as well and cloudy. This is not looking good. No, it started to rain as soon as we got on board the ship. So it seems to be our luck in Southampton that it always pours down the rain when we <laughs> sail away. So hopefully it might clear up a bit this evening. So I think that was under an hour, wasn't it, to get on board? Yeah. We arrived pretty much on time, which we didn't plan. No. Um, we, we thought we were going to arrive about 10 past, but it was a really easy walk over from the Novo Hotel. Yeah, that road wasn't as bad as I thought. Actually, the main road was bad to cross, wasn't it? Because there was loads of people coming out yeah. the other way, so it was a bit of a... But it was an easy rush, walk, I yeah, think. Um, but yeah, not too bad, under an hour, I would say. It's a little bit of an incident, but we're going to tell you about that a little bit later. Yeah. What you got there, though? So I have gone for a mango mojito. How much was that? I have no idea. I think it was eight pounds. It's in the classic cocktail. It's on the screen, but yeah. it's um, included in our package, which is we have the premium package for this cruise. And what have you got? I have a classic margarita. <laughs> I have not. So, buffet opens at half eleven, which is now. Yeah. So we're gonna head there. A bit. Cabins available at one, and we have a compulsory drill, safety drill at five. So let's enjoy these and go get some food after. See what happens next. Yeah. We are reunited with a buffet. It's been so long. It has been so long. So this is our first of 42 visits during our seven night trip. Oh, okay. And we weren't here for rope drop, unfortunately. <laughs> um, you've demolished your meal. Well, kind of, but we'll show you on screen what it is it now. Terrific, anyway. Yeah. What is it? Sweet and sour pork with Cantonese style rice, a ham and egg sandwich, and a pepperoni pizza. That's a mix. Yeah, it's a mix. I want fries though. So I'm going to have to go get some chips. And I've gone for an egg avocado salad and two rolls. Mm. Well, I think it looks nice. Yeah. I don't like avocado. They also have juices and water as well, mm -hmm. which is a nice addition. Visit two of 42. So Dan said there was burgers up there, and I was full, kind of, because of my lunch. But I had to go back up and get a burger, so this looks like I've got two own things. It's not, this is Dan's. I didn't order one. Yes, you did. I Don't try fries. and make me... What? No. I, did, I did not order one. I want to see what it looks like. It's going to look like a burger, but... Oh my god, how do you... Ta-da! Oh. It's oh. a bit sad, doesn't it? A bit it might taste nice, though. Yeah. I'm not eating on camera because I look like a camel when I eat. Yeah, it's probably best. Or we can just blur out your mouth. I really or blur out your mouth. It's really hot. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, let's dig in. Yeah. I think that just helps for the sheer scale. Yeah. Like, how quick? <laughs> Five floors. So Dan does this thing where he rushes up ahead and then I just. To film you? Like, I don't know, it's to film me. But I'm just like. This downstairs, you shouldn't be out of breath. Well. 
both ways. Just as bad as each other. Right. Left. Well, yeah. No, I was actually oh. telling you left. Oh. Hiya. Hiya. see you because it's so dark. Hello, You're gonna have hello. to go outside. <laughs> oh it's fresh. Oh yum. Surely this is just huge, isn't it? Surely that helps with your fear of heights so that it's a lifeboat close. <clears throat> yeah, but I would probably bounce off that and then into the yeah. the concrete. You then get out of the uh, suction thing to go by you know cruise. Is it Speed Cruise? I don't know what it's called. Oh, we shouldn't have watched Speed 2 Cruise Control have. the other day, yeah, should no, we? Should we also watched Titanic last night. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. Especially <laughs> when Dan said, oh, this is going to be us tomorrow, as they're sailing along the Atlantic. I was like, no, please not. <laughs> um, but yeah. Shall we um, howl it around the room? I think we should. Hello. Come on in. Oh, this is a tight squeeze. So we are on deck 10, room 10075, on board MSC's Virtuosa for the seven night cruise uh, to France and to Spain. So we're going to give you a quick room tour. So as I walk into the room, we're greeted with a bathroom on the right hand side. So I'm going to take the camera and we're going to jump in there and I'll give you a little look around. Ta da! Okay, so first impressions this is a massive bathroom for well, what we're used to anyway, especially when you compare it to like Virtuosa, how kind of tight that was. And, yay, glass door into the shower. Um, so yeah, glass door into the shower, fairly large size, sized shower as well. I'm six foot tall and there's plenty of headspace. It'd be easier if I was pointing that at me really, wouldn't it? But yeah, plenty of headspace above me. And just above me as well, we do have a washing line. So that's quite handy. You know how they work. Put them across. <laughs> Ta-da, washing line. Try and get it out. So you also have some shampoo and some shower gel. We've taken our own conditioner because I think we might have seen this on our room doors before that there was no conditioner in here. But yeah, shampoo, shower gel, and a little stand there for, I guess, if you want to shave your legs. Um, well, I don't need to, but that is there. And yeah, close the door. Toilet, fairly obvious. Um, you do have some storage areas, so just by the side of the sink, you've got some storage here, and you've got a shaving plug up there as well. Some nice kind of, I want to say almost full size uh, mirrors, so they're quite good. Uh, you do have some soap already built in in there, and the tap, water pressure is good too. Down below, you have got some more storage areas. You've got your toilet roll, there's a towel there as well, and there is a cupboard with an extra toilet roll and a bin too, and some bags for sanitary products. As I stand back up, you've also got this mirror. Handy if you want to shave, hello. Yeah, put that away now, you've seen enough of my face. And some towels up here, and some hand towels down there as well. Now back into the cabin, again, watch your step, there is a lip as you exit the bathroom into the main living space. Okay, so back out into like, the main corridor area, you do have your air conditioning controls just up here. They don't work if the door is opened, I guess there's a sensor on the door for the balcony. Um, so yep. Yeah, that will only work if the door is closed. Down below we've got Do Not Disturb, which is currently on, and you've also got a makeup room feature too. Put your key card in there to activate all the lights, etc. And you've got a couple of light switches here. And on this side, you have some coat hooks. You've also got a bin, and I kind of think this is um, pretty impressive, because I haven't really seen this on other cruise lines that we've travelled on. So obviously it's just a bin, but got a plastic section, a food section, and a paper section. Quite handy. Full size body mirror here, and as you walk, continue to walk in, we have this quite nice open space. So behind me is the large drawers in here. Um, you do have a safe as well as some storage options and some drawers down here as well. And on the other side, we have two robes, two slippers, 
and a bag of laundry as well as some other hangers. Um, I will point out that safe is quite small, so you won't be able to fit a laptop or a MacBook in there. Phones, wallets, that kind of thing, yeah, they'll be able to squeeze in there. And then on this side, we have the main desk space, and this is quite confusing and quite strange because the tea selection, Earl Grey, lovely, Tetley, PG Tips, and Yorkshire Tea. But they don't do milk. You only get coffee creamer. So you might have to get some milk from the buffet and take it back down or something because they don't give you milk in your room it is only the coffee creamer but they do put the kettles in the room here because this is a a british kind of uh, cruise or the start point southampton so they put those in the, the rooms for those two cups two mugs and an ice bucket as well storage wise got plenty of storage you've got two shelves just up here and plugs just behind the kettle you've got two european plugs no usbs on that side but if you look at this side we do have two USBs and two USA Stroke Canada plugs as well. Quite nice storage space here. Um, you've got a few drawers. The top one here has your hair dryer in and some more down below. You've got this small drawer here as well, which I might put my hair stuff in there so I can just do my hair here and look at the mirror. Makes it a bit easier. This is quite cool. Little bench that pulls out and a little table that pulls out as well. So if you want to sit and chill on your sofa instead of sitting on your bed and having a drink, you can use that as a little table and pull it out between the two of you. And finally, in this desk space, you do have your fridge. Now, this is fully stocked as a mini bar, and the prices are pretty extreme. I mean, if I look at the prices here, a packet of peanuts, £3.50, uh, a vodka, £8. So you do have a drinks package included, so we won't be touching that, but we might ask if they can actually empty the mini fridge out so we can use it as a, a working fridge as opposed to an unused mini bar. Okay, so you do have a telephone just here, as well as the Zoe speaker. We've got to try and work that out. If it works with an iPhone, we'll give it a go. Um, so you've got a kind of like the portable speaker. Well, not portable, because you can't move it. The in-cabin speaker that we can use on this cruise. And you've got a large flat screen TV. Um, we will go through this, I imagine. So far, it's quite good. It's quite interactive. It gives us a lot of information about the ship and where we are, and the weather en route, etc. It is only... 2 p.m. and we don't set sail till 8 p.m. so imagine we'll have a look through this later on today and then we have the beds so when we came into the room we did have it as a twin configuration which we didn't request but we just moved the bedside table from the middle to the side here so we've pushed the beds together you do have light switches on each side which controls on the lights around the room you've also got a usb port underneath the uh, bedside light which is quite good some switches there and i like this reading light as well that it, you can swivel it about and if on a like a gimbal so you can twist it however you if you want to read up there you can but um yeah that's great now i'm going around to this side same again over this side um usb on this side too bedside light reading light and some more light switches and the best bit is our balcony So the balcony is quite large and I quite like the features on the balcony too. So if the door is open, the aircon will switch off. I guess that's a bit more environmentally friendly. There's also a lock on there as well that you have to be able to undo. So I guess that's to stop your kids, if you've got kids with you, getting out onto the balcony when you're not supervising them. And it is a nice sized balcony. We've got two large chairs and a little kind of footstool stroke. We will use it as a table for bits and pieces. And then our view. Well, we're on deck 10, so we have got lifeboats about two decks below us. It's not an obstructed view or anything, but I quite like this. It's a very nice balcony. So we've just done a room tour and it's very hot now, so I'm just kind of having a breather. We're going to chill for a bit before we go and have a little explore around the ship. We don't really have any plans for tonight apart from to relax. So, um, yeah, let's just see what we get up to. So we've got into the cabin. We've just unpacked everything. Everything's been put away nicely and we've still got five hours until we actually sail away um so we've got a while so we're just chilling for a bit i've got a bit of a headache so i just had to lay down um but earlier on we mentioned an incident we had on boarding and we said that we was going to tell you what that incident was a bit later so as we was walking up the um the gangway air bridge the connector from the terminal to the ship everything was going really smoothly all the way up until that point then there was a little queue only like what five minutes if that um, and every now and again we had to stand to the side to let people uh, who required assistance pass absolutely fine and the staff would say excuse me you'd move out of the way and uh, they'd go through 
And then we got to just before we was about to walk over the final bit to get onto the ship, and there was a group of yacht club passengers who'd come down. And there's a butler at the front and a butler at the back. And I remember turning around and I thought, well, what are they wearing? Because the staff had these like long coats on. And they just barged past everyone. No excuse me, no nothing. And they just stormed past. And what I didn't realise at the time is what they'd done to Dan. So when I was about to walk onto... It's kind of like a single person, is it? A narrow kind of gangway onto the ship. I kind of started walking and then there was a family. And I didn't realise I'd split up the family. So I stood to the side to let a lady through with a pushchair yacht club passenger um, who was with her husband ahead and I stood back let her through but the butler at the back actually pushed Dan out of the way because we didn't know that they were gonna go past us because no one had said excuse me no one had said anything um, so we were just walking like normal so I, I stopped moved out of the way and you got shoved didn't you in your side yeah I got shoved and I fell into a box a box on the wall um, which jammed my side and I've got a massive massive bruise now on my hip um, that really hurts so. yeah so I didn't know that happened at the time um, I just knew that we was kind of just being like moved out of the way and ushered out of the way for these passengers and then we got to the desk where they scan your cruise card so I don't know what was happening but the guy who was checking us in first of all had his hand up like this so we assumed more yacht club passengers maybe, so we waited. Then when he called us over, we went over to him, and Dan had this camera in his hand. He wasn't filming at the time, but he had this camera in his hand turned off, and it was like pointing towards the floor. And he started shouting at us, why are you filming, why are you filming? We're like, we're not filming. He said, are you recording me? No, no, we're not. Um, and then he said, well, I'm not being rude. I was like, we hadn't said anything at this point, nothing had happened. So it just kind of got a bit... Stressful, didn't it? He was very, um, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it was such a strange situation. And then once we'd checked in and he'd finished shouting at us and um, we'd walked into the main atrium area with the big ceiling, when I'd seen on people's vlogs, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. You're going to walk on a ship and see this and be like, oh, wow. Both those things happened. Then you walked on and you saw the ceiling and then before you knew it, there was just staff everywhere saying, buy this food package, buy this beverage package, buy this Wi-Fi package. And it was just too much. It was just like, step back. That's, <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it. I just felt like, I just wanted a minute to calm down and continue. But no, there was just everyone in your face, wasn't there? Mm. So yeah. So yeah, we went to reception um, mainly because we were concerned about passing this on, that it had happened, because if it had happened to someone um, that was perhaps a, li a little bit more physically impaired, um, it could have been a lot worse. Like, the force that I hit that box with was a lot. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm lucky to just have a bruise, but it, it could have hurt someone else more. So I personally just wanted to make sure they knew um, and so, yeah, we went and, and told reception. Um, they were okay about it. Um, I have to be honest, didn't really seem to care that much. Um, and I just had to insist, keep insisting, because they, they didn't seem to want to sort anything, just to get them to have a word with their people that walk down the, with the yacht club passengers to make sure that they have a little bit more consideration about the passengers that they're going past. So hopefully um, it will be passed on um, and so they'll be a bit more careful in future but yeah I, I think it was unacceptable. Um, it was very crowded in that bridge um, and the way that everyone was just pushed, shoved out of the way was unacceptable. Um, and yeah, it was not a good start to the cruise at all. Oh, and it was raining as well, wasn't it? Just a final little, and a little open in the uh, in the gangway, and it started raining right through there, <laughs> just at that time too. Mm. So, um, but anyway, end of that. You won't hear of that again. No. Apart from that, up to that point, the boarding process was good. I think we said about that upstairs, and we were we was amazed, really impressed. Weren't yeah. We? So um, the walk was good. Everything else was moving. And we picked up magazines. 
<laughs> it's just what he's most excited about. <laughs> in the queue, there was magazines, went and grabbed some, and then I started a trend, and then everyone went and grabbed <laughs> magazines themselves. So, um, yeah, I flipped through those for you later. Flip, yeah. flip, 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 flip through those later. Mm. Yeah. And so we've got a, a, a safety briefing. We don't really know what it is. So we've only ever cruised post COVID. Well, post COVID lockdown. Pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we've watched the video we didn't have to go to our muster station as soon as we boarded but there's something happening at five we don't really know what it is but we're going to go we don't have life jackets in the room yeah which is odd so my theory is we go to our muster station hmm. and they give you life jackets there to then take back to your room because it'd be weird not to have one in your room wouldn't it surely it is weird yeah so and there's another one at six for people that miss the first one so um, but yeah We'll go to that or let you know what happens with that because we don't know. <laughs> and then we're due to leave at 8 pm. Yeah, so the weather's not great outside at the moment. Hopefully, it improves. Mm. Um, it's just really overcast. If it starts raining, that'll mean every single sailor where we've had <laughs> has been either in the rain or during a thunderstorm. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not very lucky with sailor ways. Yeah. Okay. Well, shall we go and see what the safety thing is then? <laughs> Might as well. Safety procedures and the mandatory safety drill comply with SOLAS, the International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea. The only signal that requires you to act is the general emergency signal of seven short blasts and one long blast. This is not a signal to abandon ship. <coughs> when you hear this signal, go straight to your assembly station. It's always lost. Ooh, the lights on the floor. Oh, I wish the weather was nicer. Yeah. Mm. No, look forward. Oh, wave quick. Like Squid Games. Isn't it? It's enough it's going to make it across. <laughs> this is a massive casino. We've never really been on a cruise ship that has a large casino floor. Unless it's all mirrors, it's actually only two machines. <laughs> So the plan was to go to our Alakesa restaurant for our quarter past six sit-in. Which I think we called the Symphony. Yeah, but there was a massive queue. Huge. So we're like, nah. Nah. Um, so we're at Hola Tacos and Cantina. Because it's got an explanation mark after it, so you've got to do it like excitedly. Hola. Yeah. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> so what have you gone for? I've gone for on the all you can eat two enchiladas, two How much tacos, seventy nine nine, and I've lost my train of thought now. Sorry. Yeah, so two enchiladas, two tacos, and something else. Nachos, I think. And you've gone for well, we've both gone for cokes. Oh, yeah, three pounds each. Um, let's drink the package. I have gone for a chili con carne taco, a chicken. Taco, which I forgot the name of. And the tinga, and the small natto bowl as well, without the pinos because we no, haven't got time for that. So, <laughs> yeah, so excited. We weren't going to do this tonight. It's like, going to be later on in the cruise. So, we're excited to try it. It's also worth pointing out that we were going to the main restaurant. It was really busy. We've come down here and it looks closed from the outside. The doors were closed. But we just caught someone walking out and um, I was like, oh, can I help? So like, oh, are you open? He's like, yeah. So we're actually the only people in here. The ship's fairly busy, but we didn't like come here on purpose, did we? Like, think no. it'd be quiet. We thought this would be round, but it looks closed. <laughs> the knife and forks look like chopsticks. Yeah, have you pulled them out? 
Mm. Isn't that a fun knife? Oh, that's really weird. Yeah. Oh, look at that spoon. Oh, no, that, that's a bit. The knife's definitely the weirder one. It is, yeah. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and a fabric napkin. Ooh, a push. Oh, little things in life. <laughs> so, and any update on when we are sailing away? Online on the Southampton cruise departure, it says 7 pm. We're, oh. we're booked to leave at 8 pm. So it might be 7, it might be 8, but we're currently. I've changed my watch and it's just got in the fingers, and it's really hard to work out on an Apple Watch. I think it's 25 past 6, so we've still got like 35 minutes if it is 7 o'clock, so who knows. <laughs> Did we talk about the safety demonstration? No, we didn't. So we'd already watched it twice. Then there was an alert in the room that we had to watch it again and everyone had to go to their room. So if you know who's at a bar, you had to leave the bar, go to your room to watch the demonstration. Then at the end of the demonstration, there's a phone number on the screen that you had to call. And it was an automated service that registered that we'd call them that would watch the safety demo. Mm -hmm. And then we had to go to our master station. Um, but it was all strange, wasn't it? Because we didn't know what to do. There's no information in, on boarding on no. what to do. So it's all a bit up in the air. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I have to be honest, I can't add anything because I wasn't listening. So, I, if I add anything, I might repeat what you said. Because wow. I, I was too busy looking at this napkin, I was just amazed by it. And this is what I put up with. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what he said. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> the so far is right, though. Anyway, yeah. I'm hungry. So, okay. let's speed this up so yeah. people at home let's can have a see food. Yeah. This smells amazing, doesn't it? Have we both gone for the set? Oh, you've gone for it. I've gone for the pinot on though, mainly because I forgot to ask for the take off. Ah, okay. But there's one without, and it still looks beautiful. I'm going to be full after this. I probably will too. And you've got what so, you can eat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got to get my money to work, yeah. Oh, taste test. Okay. So I haven't got any beef on it though. Oh. Mm. Standard taco, um, nacho. Yeah, but it's quite nice though. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna tuck in. I need to get in further, yeah. <laughs> What's that above your head? T-shirt. You've brought some washing to dry. Oh no, yeah. It's, it's dry out. Why have you brought that with you? Yes. No, but I'm looking around, I'm thinking, do they sell them, like... It's a bit of an odd place to put it. a random place to put a t-shirt. <laughs> Every time I stand up, I'm gonna... <laughs> you are really getting all you can eat. Sure, I'm blushing because I'm so embarrassed. But do you ever think they regret advertising something that's all you can eat? when I then come in and I order as much food as I want because I've ordered quite a lot <laughs> but Dan has just discovered my new favourite drink Doritos Pineapple It's basically Orangina but Pineapple so, And it's um, young Yeah And I've got another Coke Zero You're not going to be able to move after this I will because we'll have to go up to the buffet for dessert later on <laughs> and, Well, <laughs> another meal for you basically In about half an hour, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. How was that for you? I really enjoyed that. And I hope we're coming back again before the end of the cruise. Okay. Yeah. That's promising. I'm too full for dessert right now. So we're just holding off, I think. But we have just noticed that we've left. I would say onto the window, but it's a ship coming. Oh. So we didn't even know we were moving, so... Um, we should really go up, shouldn't we? Yeah. Sweet Southampton away. Wave at Ikea. <laughs> this is me trying to get good footage of Iona. I'm probably failing. Whilst full of Mexican food. And like, my legs are about to give in as well.
so Georgie has found us a spot in the Chocolate Finger Lounge. I was say, what was it you call these? Chocolate Fingers! I want chocolate. <laughs> a pack of Chocolate Fingers would be quite nice right now. So I've got a, another mango mojito from outside. Now we've come in and we're going to order more drinks anyway, so... This all-inclusive thing is a bit too much for me. Ooh. See? We're back! So we told you we were going to buy before long. <laughs> So tacos have to have dessert after them. So we have a sticky toffee pudding. I feel like it's just jelly with cream. And ah. yellow thing. Yeah. So we need to get some drinks. I, do we? Well, we want a water. I don't want any more alcohol yet. <laughs> can I have some dessert now? You can. Thanks. So we've just been to the buffet, haven't we, and had dessert? I think so. Yeah, we got some milk to take back to the room because there's only creamer in here. Mm -hmm. um, so we just filled up a little um, cup. cup and yeah, we've popped it in the fridge. We've had a nice cup of tea. The selection of tea bags. I think you covered it in the room tour, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, right, it's proper random, but yeah, we love some Yorkshire tea, so that went down well. Um, we also asked for some bottles of water to take back to the cabin because there's yeah. no like filled with water anywhere. And I was expecting a small bottle, you but can no. Account one. <laughs> so um, we ended up having to carry four litres of water back to the room, which is great because I'll drink this through the night and this will last us, well, it'll last me a couple of days anyway. Yeah. Um, so that's handy. We went and booked some shows on the big screens. Yep. Um, I booked some more. I booked one about Paris, I booked one about New York, and the magic one mm -hmm. as well. So. Um, and now we're back here. I've just had a shower. The shower's really good. I was about to shower, and then oh, there yeah. was a storm on the balcony. Not on the balcony, obviously. We'll show you now. In the distance. I filmed a little bit. I think it came out well, but it was in here now, so you'll be able to see it. Hopefully it did come out. Um, yeah, it's pretty impressive watching that from the balcony. I love that. I do have to keep looking, though, just to make sure there's no more lightning. <laughs> so can you tell us where we are now? We are in the sea. Well, you're the only one with signal, so could you... Yeah, I know. I don't know what kind of John the coordinates. Or no, I just, just to... I just want to know where we are, please. Okay. So I can do a little fancy graphic. We are. That will ping up on screen. So I'm on the Wi-Fi and I've got the browse Wi-Fi and it's okay. Um, it's a little bit slow and we're just to the south of the eye. A lot of wipes. Can you see that? Yep. So, yeah. Weather isn't looking too great tomorrow. Um, it isn't great now. As you just heard, mm -hmm. but it's yeah heavy rain forecasted whilst we're at sea tomorrow, so that's going to be fun. And there's storms as well. So I looked at the sea weather thing, um, and yeah, that looks like it's going to be quite a bumpy ride tomorrow. But so I can't even feel it moving. Don't know about you. Um, I just keep hearing the hangers, yeah, like knocking, knocking in the cupboard. So but, <laughs> yeah, it's quite smooth. Cool. So yeah, that's. Day one, MSC. Wrap it up, Georgie. So we do hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. In a few seconds, a QR code is going to pop up on your screen. If you scan that on your phone, that's going to take you through to georgeanddan.com or you can just visit it by typing in georgeanddan.com to go to our website. You can check out our latest blog posts as well as all the menus from all the restaurants and bars that we've eaten and drank at today. And we'll see you later.